why have you decided that the next step for Walla was going to be Mexico? And um, how are you starting your operations there? Do you have your own team? Where will you be based, etc.? So the way we think about product is that we wanted to build something revolutionary for all of Latin America. We started in Argentina because we thought that there was a very good blend of regulatory and team availability that was unique to Argentina. So we could start Walla in 2017 there. This week we turned three years old and to celebrate that we wanted to launch Mexico. And launching Mexico to us does not mean that we announce that we're going to go to Mexico, but rather that we are launching Mexico. So tomorrow or today actually you can download the app on Android and iOS, sign up in three minutes and whatever you are in the Mexican territory, join Walla. And we're launching in Mexico with the building blocks of a product that took us 18 to 20 months to, to release in Argentina. So it's a much better product than we had and we built it in such a way so as to be able to arrive in Mexico day one with full interoperability with the banking system, more than 14,000 different locations all across Mexico, including every 7-Eleven, every Walmart, every Sam's Club, uh, bill payments, so more than 60 providers day one, every single um, telephone company available in Mexico to top up your cell phone. So all these things that we didn't have in Argentina. And um, to answer your question directly, um, we've been working on this for 18 months. And we only announced today because it is available to use today. We've had a team in Mexico for the last 18 months. Uh, we have around 22 people on the team today. Uh, we have 30 openings, so I can say that now. And we have over 100 people in the whole Walla organization exclusively devoted to Mexico. So there's 22 of them now in Mexico, but there's all these other people remote devoted to Mexico, but operating either in Argentina or elsewhere. What brought you to Mexico? I mean, you, you say that you've thought about this for 18 months, but why Mexico? Why was that the next step? The, yes. Uh, what attracts us to Mexico is that in terms of financial inclusion, it has a very similar problem than Argentina. And that problem is that we usually ask people to believe in democracy and capitalism, but then we don't add them to the system. And so out of the whole Mexican population, we were struck by a few data points. Number one is that over 50% of Mexicans have never had a means of payment that is not cash. 65% of Mexicans um, have never had a bank account. So they don't have a universal account, forget the card. They don't have a place to put their money or create a credit history that, and therefore they are uh, condemned to cash and only cash transactions. And furthermore, like Argentina, Mexico is a very large country with a relatively young demographic, high smartphone, pen smartphone penetration, but uh, with very low banking penetration outside major cities. So on average, according to last year's national um, uh, encuesta, like, like a poll, um, it is the average of 40 minutes that Mexicans spend in transit to a financial institution. And so to be able to offer a product that is digital, safe, and truly inclusive is revolutionary in a market where people spend 40 minutes of their day going to a financial institution, and oftentimes they're not allowed in. And so that's, that's what attracts us to the market. There's also the Mexican FinTech law, which turns two years old this week, and we are operating fully in compliance with the law. We think that kind of law is a step forward and, and very useful in terms of framing how different tech companies are going to be able to operate in the market. And so um, obviously the, the law was very new when we started thinking about Mexico. And for the last 18 months of development, it has been essential to be able to frame our operations in the Mexican context. 